James Lang Theory of Emotion The James Lang Theory of Emotion is one of the earliest and most influential theories in psychology. Developed independently by psychologist William James and physiologist Carl Lang in the late 19th century, this theory offers a unique perspective on how emotions are experienced. The central idea is that emotions are a result of our body's physical reactions to stimuli or events, rather than the other way around. In simple terms, the theory suggests that we don't cry because we feel sad or tremble because we feel afraid. Instead, we feel sad because we are crying or we feel fear because we are trembling. Let's break it down step by step to make it easier to understand. The theory begins with the idea that when something happens to us, let's say, you encounter a dangerous situation like seeing a snake, your body reacts first. This reaction might involve your heart rate increasing, your muscles tensing up, and your breathing becoming rapid. According to the James Lang theory, it's only after your body has these physical reactions that you begin to consciously feel the emotion of fear. In other words, your body's response to the situation comes first, and your emotion is your mind's way of interpreting that physical response. This was a revolutionary idea at the time because people typically thought that emotions came first, and then the body responded. For instance, it was commonly believed that if you saw a bear in the woods, you would first feel fear, and as a result, your heart would race and you would start running. The James Lang theory flips this around. It argues that your heart starts racing, and because your body is reacting in a certain way, your mind interprets those physical changes as the emotion of fear. So, you don't feel fear and then run, you run and then feel fear. An easy way to understand this is to imagine that emotions are like reading signals from your own body. According to James and Lang, your body is doing something like shaking, sweating, or crying, and your brain tries to make sense of those physical reactions by labeling them as emotions. Here's an everyday example. Imagine you're giving a speech in front of a crowd. As you stand on the stage, your heart starts beating faster, your palms get sweaty, and your stomach might feel a little tight. According to the James Lang theory, you would interpret these physical reactions as the emotion of nervousness. You feel nervous not because you're thinking about the speech, but because your body is reacting in a way that your brain interprets as nervousness. Another example, when you're watching a sad movie, you might start tearing up without consciously thinking, I'm sad. Your body responds first by crying, and then your brain recognizes the tears and the way your body feels, and you identify that as sadness. This theory highlights the connection between the body and the mind in a way that was not fully appreciated before. It suggests that our emotions are more deeply tied to our physical experiences than we often realize. If you've ever felt your heart race after a sudden loud noise, you might experience that rush of adrenaline first, and then quickly afterward, you become aware that you're startled or afraid. But like many theories, the James Lang theory isn't without criticism. One of the main criticisms is that it doesn't fully explain how we can feel different emotions even if our physical reactions are similar. For example, when you're excited or when you're afraid, your heart might beat faster in both situations. So how does your brain know the difference between excitement and fear if the physical response is the same? Critics argue that there must be more to emotion than just interpreting bodily reactions. Another criticism is that sometimes we experience emotions without a strong physical response. For example, you might feel happy about something, but your body isn't necessarily doing anything unusual, 
your heart isn't racing, and you're not trembling or sweating. How do we explain these kinds of emotions if the body isn't reacting in a noticeable way? Despite these criticisms, the James Lang theory remains important because it was one of the first theories to explore the relationship between the body and emotions in a scientific way. It also paved the way for more research into how our bodies and minds are connected. In modern psychology, most researchers agree that emotions are more complex than just physical reactions. However, the James Lang theory still plays a role in understanding certain emotional experiences. For instance, research into the link between the body and emotions has found support for the idea that physical states can influence emotional experiences. There's even evidence that changing your physical state can change your mood. For example, smiling can sometimes make you feel happier, and standing up straight can make you feel more confident. This idea is somewhat in line with the James Lang theory because it suggests that our bodies play a role in shaping how we feel emotionally. Another area where the James Lang theory is relevant today is in the study of anxiety and panic disorders. For people who experience anxiety, their bodies often react with symptoms like a racing heart, shortness of breath, or trembling. According to the James Lang perspective, these physical symptoms could lead to the emotion of fear or panic. In some cases, this can create a cycle where the physical symptoms make the person more aware of their anxiety, which in turn increases their fear, leading to even more physical symptoms. In conclusion, the James Lang theory is a significant early attempt to explain how emotions work. By suggesting that emotions arise from our body's physical responses to events, it challenged the traditional way of thinking about feelings. While it doesn't fully capture the complexity of human emotions, it opened the door to further exploration of how our bodies and minds interact. Today, it continues to influence the way psychologists and researchers think about the role of the body in shaping emotional experiences. Whether we're talking about feeling fear in response to a sudden noise or feeling joy after a big smile, the connection between our physical reactions and our emotions is something that continues to be studied and appreciated in modern psychology.